my dad said he wishes he had a son rather than a daughter. I, 17, female, am not very close with my father, 41, due to him not wanting to spend much time with me. When I was little, me and my mom, 39, did lots of fun activities together and she always played with me and entertained me resulting in us having a good relationship now years later, but whenever I'd try to get my dad to play with me or watch something with me he'd be uninterested and tell me to go play with my mom. This happened practically every day with me wanting to watch him work on his car or ask him to play but he always pushed me off and as I grew up, I believed that my dad just didn't like me so I asked him to play or teach me stuff less and less. He would only do stuff with me on my birthday and holidays though he always made sure I was fed when I was hungry and if I was upset he'd comfort me but other than that he would avoid me. Now to today, I was in the kitchen getting a snack and my dad was outside in the backyard on the phone with one of his friends. I could hear what he was talking about from the open kitchen window but I was ignoring it until he said my name in their conversation. I listened in more and heard him telling his friend that he wishes he had a son more than a daughter because he never wanted a girl and didn't try to build much of a relationship with me because of it and said he had tried to get my mom to have a second kid to see if he could get a son but my mom didn't want two children at the time so he just ignored me when I was able to walk and talk so he could focus on other things and let my mom raise me. I went to my room after hearing this and I'm writing this now. I want to tell my mom because of how hurt I feel but I also don't want to cause an argument between them since they are really close. Does anyone have a few suggestions on what I should do? Should I ask him about it or just tell my mom? And 3, my dad said he wishes he had a son rather than a daughter. On to the updates. My mom got home from work and I waited until she wasn't busy to talk to her. I asked her to come with me to my room and once we both were in there with the door closed I told her what I overheard and how I felt, not just about his hurtful words but also how I felt my whole life with how he treated me like I'm a stranger. My mom was quiet as I talk and once I finished she hugged me and told me how she's really sorry and hugged me while telling me how I'm the best thing to ever happen to her and that it didn't matter that I'm a girl because she'd love me either way and that's how parents should be and she'd always be there for me. After a bit she went to confront my dad who just admitted it, they got into an argument which ended with him going to stay at my grandma's house for a bit. Edit, I forgot to mention but my mom also told me how she's been doing her best to fill both roles of my mom and dad since my dad wasn't. Final update, I've been given lots of advice and support which I really want to say thank you for, you have no idea how much it means to me. My dad came home last night and my mom was hesitant to let him into the house but he said he needed to talk so she let him in. He, me and my mom sat in the living room and he started apologizing for what had happened and was telling my mom and me that he regretted what he said and would step up to be a better father to me and to make things right. My mom told him that what he did was not acceptable in any way and that it's not a matter where apologizing will fix it. I then asked how exactly did he plan to make up ignoring me my whole childhood and not being a dad to me and how I'm turning 18 in a couple months and then I'll be an adult and won't be a child anymore, I then said that ignoring me all my childhood and pushing me away because of what's between my legs was a horrible thing and I don't forgive him. He started apologizing more and had some tears in his eyes which sort of surprised me but my mom asked me to head to my room so I did and I could hear my mom saying stuff and then my dad left the house again. She came into my room after and told me that she would be not allowing him in our home anymore and gave me a hug before telling me that she texted his mom the night he left for a few days about what happened and apparently my grandma tore into him about it and kicked him out so he had to stay at one of his friend's house.